to number 32, who is in the game now. Number 32, Sherman Williams, who's in at fullback. We do have Sean Ingram, number 20, in at tailback. And here is on second and three, it is a handoff to number 20, Sean Ingram. Ingram finds the sidelines and gets out of bounds past midfield. It is enough for a first down, and that'll be tonight. McClure under center. Williams and Ingram in the backfield, two wide outs to the right. And there's movement on Dodge City's fumble. side, and there's a fumble on the play, a uh, um, misstep in the snap, but there is a flag. Dodge City, so another penalty on them. They almost had a offside on their first play from scrimmage for the Red Ravens. Looked like someone jumped. No score, opening drive for the Ravens. McClure under center. He takes a snap. He's looking to throw downfield. Here's this one out. He's going for Eddie Williams, and it is intercepted by Dodge City. Intercepted by two players. One, person, one player fumbled it. Number six had actually caught it in the air, so Dodge City now has the ball at their own 10-yard line after Rodney McClure's first attempt. But the thing is, the Red Ravens weren't in a punting position. They were moving the ball quite well, and Rodney McClure uh, tested the defense, went long, and unfortunately, Dodge City picked it up. We've got Gensch in at quarterback for Dodge City. They are in a pro set formation. Gensch takes a snap. He hands off to number one, Reggie Waddle, who is in at tailback. Gensch is in under center. An eye formation, now a broken eye as the fullback moves to the right. Gensch takes a snap. He pitches out to the corner. Wat <laughs> Watkins. And Watkins is nailed back at the one more game, too. So that might help a little bit. That is true. That is a good point. Third and 15 at the five for Dodge City. They are stuck deep in their own zone. And Gensch takes a snap. He is looking to throw, and then it looks like he had handed off. Once again, Knockfield against Dodge City. It's hard to tell who actually gets the ball, but Dodge City now has to punt with a punter well back in the end zone. Here's a snap for Dodge City on the punt. Just gets it off, and this is a fairly good punt. Comes out to the 47-yard line. Eddie Williams trying to return it, and he is swarmed by conquistadors, and he gets nowhere, really. Uh, caught at the 47 and stays at the 47, but first and 10 at the Dodge City 47-yard line. McClure under center, I formation. We've got Brantley in at tailback, and it's a quick pass out to Sean Ingram. Ingram tries to cut around the corner on the left side of the field, picks up a couple of yards, but we do have Jordan McClure under center. Brantley and Ingram in the backfield, two wide outs split right and left. And there's a snap, it is a handoff to Sean Ingrams, and Ingrams is caught in the backfield, and about a two-yard loss back to the original line of scrimmage. McClure under center, Brantley and Ingram in the backfield, Williams and Robertson, a three wide set now, two to the right, one to the left. McClure takes the snap, he's going back, he's being rushed, and he just gets loose with this ball and overthrows it, really pretty much throwing it away because he was brought down hard back at the 40-yard line. City is, or excuse me, Coffeyville is getting ready to punt. Punter Pat Ross back at the 39-yard line, awaiting the snap. Pat averaging 39 yards per punt, almost 40. And here is the snap and the kick. And this is a line drive kick that hits at the 20, does a great roll down to about the five-yard line. And one of the Dodge City return men decide to try and run it back with only pick through by Dodge City to try to pick it up. Maybe scamper down the sideline. Very fortunate they kept the ball. Gensch in at quarterback under a pro set formation. Two wide outs split right and left. Gensch takes the snap and he hands off to number four, Nicholas Watkins. Watkins hits the line of scrimmage and goes nowhere. Maybe picked up a yard. Hey, well, Action. Teams are really going to have a difficult time running against the Red Ravens. They've just got such a great defensive front. They're going to have to really open up the pass a little bit to get that running game started. Otherwise, they're just going to be down at their own end. It is um, an awesome front four, and also the uh, linebackers that the Red Ravens historically have, have had a great defense, and he comes up to the line of scrimmage. Second and 13 at the four. Gensch under center, eye formation, two wideouts, movement by the Ravens, and the flags fly. Fingers pointing. <laughs> Both. It is going to be a fall.